Now today I'm going to do a complete colour change on some leather seats. I'm going to go through all the steps involved in cleaning, rejuvenating and doing a complete colour change on leather. So first thing I need to do is get a sample of the colour that I want them to be, send it away, get it colour matched and then I'll be ready to start. Okay, so I'm here at VG Auto Paint, so I'm going to drop off the sample I need to be matched. Now these seats are black, I need them to be red. So the first thing I need to do is give them my sample, they're going to send it away and they're going to match it and give me back a colour dye. Now this is a um, leathery product, it's um, a custom dye and it's going to change the colour of your seats or even if you wanted to just rejuvenate the colour, um, you can use this stuff as well. I we also need a few other things. I need some leatheric rejuvenator oil. I've got that. I need some leatheric Prestine Clean. And I also need some um, prepping agent for when I sand those seats, get them all ready to put the leather on. Now all this stuff is enough to do about two leather seats and I'm going to show you how to do it, so let's go. Leatheric is a range of leather care products designed to rejuvenate, clean, fill and dye all types of leather. Using the leather eat rejuvenator oil and a pressing cleaner, you can get old leather looking brand new again. If you have cracks in your leather, then the leather eat crack filler will repair your damaged leather interior or furniture. Finally, a dye can be applied to restore or change the colour to a long lasting finish. Okay, so you need to get your seats as clean as possible and then you can spray the rejuvenator oil on them. Now I'm going to use this spray bottle, and spray it on and just rub it in with your hands. Okay, so I've applied the uh, leather eek rejuvenator oil all over these leather seats and now I need to leave it for about 48 hours and that oil is going to bring all the dirt to the top of the leather and then I'll be able to clean it off with the next step. And it's also going to open up the pores of the leather and it's going to create a good base for us to put this dye on. Soak a rag or a microfiber cloth in some warm water and use the Prestine Clean to wipe off all the rejuvenated oil from your leather product. If you keep cleaning off the rag in the warm water, you'll eventually see all the dirt and grime that's come off your seats or your leather in that water and now you know that they're nice and clean. Once you've cleaned all the oil off with the Prestine Clean, you can use a clean rag and then just wipe off those seats, get them nice and dry again. Then you're ready for the next step. Okay, now it's time to use the prepping agent. Pour it all into a tub, and then you can use some grey scotch bright, clean those seats, and scuff it all up ready for your dye. This is one of the most important steps in the process, so make sure you get into all the little crevices and around your seams, and get that seat scuffed up really good so that your new dye will stick onto it. If you don't have scotch bright pads, you can also use 600 grit wet sandpaper. And remember, leather is stronger than you think, so it's not going to damage it. Just don't go too hard and turn that leather into suede. Finally, clean them off with a wet rag and then dry it off with a dry rag. Then you'll be ready for the next step. Okay, now it's time to apply the dye. 
You need to shake it up as best you can and then pour it into a container. Okay, so I'm going to use some polishing cloths, put it in the shape of a pad, dip it into the dye, and then slowly wipe it onto the leather area. You can start doing the seams first, and then you can do the body of the leather. Now don't expect to get full coverage straight away. You need to do light, even coats, and keep building it up till you get the colour that you want. Make sure you wait an hour to an hour and a half between coats. You don't want to put it on too thick because you will get a plasticky feel. Now another way to apply the dye is to use a spray gun. You can thin it out 10% with water, put it in a small spray gun and do extremely light coats over the leather until you get the colour that you want. Be careful when using a spray gun, you don't want to put too much on because you will get a tacky plastic feel with this stuff. So make sure you put it on extremely light and do a lot of coats to get your coverage rather than heavy coats. Now whether you're using a cloth to wipe on the leather dye or a spray gun, make sure you stir it up really good before each coat because the pigment will settle. Now the leather will be touched dry in about an hour, but you really should leave it for about a week to fully cure. Then you can start handling it and putting it back together. Well there you go, I've done a complete colour change in these seats and have gone from black to red. And using the correct preparations, they'll be extremely durable and last a very long time. So now with the right steps and the right equipment, you can get your leather looking the way you want it. So that's it, see ya.